Many of our greenhouse crops are something that starts a season or so earlier than it's, it's sold in. This is a crop of Easter lilies that is being started for our Easter season this year. So they actually started it before the Christmas season in order to prepare these plants to bloom for the Easter season. One of the things that's interesting about Easter lilies is that they're often treated with growth hormones so that the plants stay short and that they don't get long and leggy but then they also are treated with uh, plant hormones to get them to bloom at the right time. So we think about Easter lilies being a lily and all of the lilies that we plant in our garden, we realize grow from a bulb. Um, I don't know that everybody thinks about an Easter lily coming from a bulb, but each of these pots has um, varying numbers of bulbs planted in them that create an individual plant and then um, multiple blossoms on that individual plant. You can purchase Easter lily bulbs from some bulb companies for your garden. What a lot of people do is they'll purchase an Easter lily and then plant that out into their garden. If you're considering planting Easter lilies in your own containers and growing them for yourself or as a gift uh, for the Easter season, you'll wanna remember that you have to plant them early on so that they get some good height on them, provide plenty of light for them so that they'll induce blossom and think about planting them during the Christmas season and preparing for the Easter holiday. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.